Hey there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and today I'm so 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 excited to give you my Gothtober TBR. It's finally here, it's time for Gothtober and I'm going to try and read as many books as I can for the readathon and do weekly vlogs as well so do expect that coming up. But first of all let's talk about the books that I plan to read. First of all, I'm going to cover the core prompts first, and for my LGBT plus read, I'm going to be reading All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. This is a non-fiction memoir. I've heard so many good things about this on booktube that I cannot wait to dive in for myself and see what I think of it. Then for a book with disability rep, I'm going to be reading Joni by Joni Erickson, and this is again a non-fiction autobiographical read. And Joni is someone who is quadriplegic and she also had depression and she talks about her journey through that and her struggle through that. My younger sister has read this book and she absolutely loved it. She read it and she was so inspired that she went into a room and then came out and she could write with her mouth and draw with her mouth and it really helped her through that part of losing some of the mobility of her hands and because it was so impactful to her I wanted to give it a try for myself and see what I thought of it. For a Black Indigenous Person of Colour authored read. I'm going to be reading Pet by Kweki Amezi. This is one that I've heard a lot about. It's a middle grade book and I haven't completely figured out what it has to do with but I know it has to do with monsters and it sounds a bit metaphorical when I looked at the plot so I am looking forward to giving it a go and seeing what I think of it. I've just heard raving reviews and I don't know too much about it but I am very hyped to get in. For the lies prompt I'm going to go with a character that lies and we've got All of This Is True by Lydia de Peñaflor. I've heard a mixed reviews for this one but it's about this group of people who go to meet one of their favourite authors and I think something happens that is really really bad and they're all lying about it or some of them are telling the truth and it's kind of hard to discern which one is doing which and I'm curious to know more about this book. It does sound very intriguing to me but the reviews have me a bit anxious. Then for female protagonist I'm going to be reading Queenie by Candice Carty Williams and this one is about a Jamaican British woman who's living in England and she's just going through her experiences I believe with mental health, with relationships and it's a contemporary adult fiction. I have heard good things about this one, I've heard okay things about this one but mostly I'm curious to see a Jamaican British protagonist like myself in a book and kind of how that navigates some of the black experience. Then for a book set in a foreign country I'll be reading Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman. This is an indigenous read and it's basically about colonization in Australia, British people arriving and colonizing Australia and what that's like for the from the indigenous perspective. I've seen so many good things about this one when I was in Australia and I really really wanted to read it for myself so I'm definitely going to get into that one this month. For modern retelling I've got The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. So again this is one I don't know too much about but the cover is absolutely gorgeous. And um, when I did look it up it has been described as a modern gothic so that's perfect for gothtober. Next up we have The Bones Prompt and I had to comb through my shelves to find one but I ended up with The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter and if you can see there are skulls on the cover so that covers the prompt of bones and it's about this character who is forced to leave her childhood home and she ends up in this place with a toy shop and all of the toys are uncanny and lifelike and it does sound like it's going to be dark and haunting because Angela Carter seems to do that very very well and I'm looking forward to getting to it. Then for the oldest on my TBI I decided to choose my oldest one with a spooky title and that's Wicked Lovely by Melissa Ma but I haven't actually read this or read the synopsis of this one and it's been years since I bought it and I think I remember getting it because it was popular on book blogs so I don't actually know what this one is about but I guess I'll find out throughout the month. For Red I've definitely gone for Red in the title and Red on the cover and that is Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews and this one has a film adaptation and it's about this spy I believe. It's a thriller and it just sounded really interesting when I heard about it for the first time so I am going to go in and see if it can capture me. I'm trying to get get into thrillers. Books are a bit more suspenseful and fast-paced so I hope that this will be that one for me. Undead character. I'm gonna finally be reading Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer, 
and I saved this particularly for Gothtober because it's vampires, it's an undead character and it's a big book. I try to read like one big book a month or like every two months so that's going to be my big book. It is Twilight told from the perspective of Edward and I'm a bit nervous. I have heard some good things about this but originally I was hearing a lot of bad things so I was getting a bit nervous about starting it but now I've heard some more good things. I'm just going to hope for the best and I'm going to go in with an open mind and see what I get out of it. Then for a morally grey character I'm going to be reading Middle Game by Shannon Maguire. I've heard so many raving reviews for this one and yet at the same time they don't give away too much. I don't know what it's about. I know it's about these two twins and about one of them who's good with numbers I believe and one of them who's good at something else and they may obtain godhood but they also may not and it just follows that. And I did ask Mariana from Mariana Casada if there's morally grey characters, if she would consider characters morally grey, and she said yes. So I can count this for this prompt and I'm excited because I really want to read it. And then last but not least we have our Dark Academia prompt and for that I'm going to be reading Stags by M.A. Bennett. It's about this prestigious school and these children who go to that school and they go on a trip and a hunting trip and I think something terrible happens and it's about what happened, the truth of the matter and how they're going to move forward after this. This is like the last Dark Academia book I have on my TBR that I own so I'm going to go for it. I did read The Island by M.A. Bennett last year and it was one of my most anticipated reads and I really really didn't like it so I'm hoping that this will redeem this author for me. And then the last prompt is to watch a vampire TV series or film, TV episode I should say, and I'm going to watch one of the Twilight films, any one I want. I've been reading Twilight Backward for my Read It Backward series and although I'm done with the Twilight Read It Backward series and we're moving on to another series, I didn't watch any of the films and I'm kind of in the mood to watch one of them so I'll definitely watch one of them. And there you have it, that's my TBR plans for Goftober. I'm looking forward to all of the fun that we're going to be having. It's co-hosted by me. Hannah from Lidair M and Tish from Little Wolf and we really hope to see you there. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Have you read any of these books or what are you planning to read for Goftober? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say, onwards and upwards. Excelsior!